The world is changing, and education must change with it. The Global Innovation Field Trip, also called GIFT, is a new way to inspire youth innovation that is impacting our world in ways that we've never imagined. And we invite you to be a part of it. GIFT is the online 24-hour multi-country collaboration celebrating young innovators and those who educate, inspire, and sponsor innovation. Through GIFT, students are invited to present their stories of innovation at this prestigious event to their contemporaries, educators, and program leaders across the world, building their self-esteem, confidence, and skill in verbal communication. Students are not only celebrated for their innovative achievements, but they are also afforded the unique opportunity to look at the world beyond their home communities as they observe presentations from other students from distant countries and cultures. Ideas, apps, inventions, innovative programming, social good, and innovation education. As an innovative online, open and inclusive platform, GIFT enables students from every corner of our world to participate. Nine global events, 646 presentations, 979 presenters, and 51 countries. There exists no age, sex, race, or geographic border defining who can become an innovator. Global Innovation Field Trip, celebrating young innovators worldwide. Hello, and thank you for joining us for the October 2022 Global Innovation Field Trip. My name is Julie Shively, and I'm the founder of Innovation World and co-founder of the Global Innovation Field Trip. And I just a couple quick announcements before we get started on this very exciting event today. Um, the video you just saw is a great introduction to the Global Innovation Field Trip, but it's a little off right now because we've actually moved up to 700 presentations, about 1,065 innovators before today, and uh, 55 countries. So it's, it's with great excitement that we bring you a whole nother 24-hour session of great innovators and programs who support and inspire innovation across the world. We have um, quite a few very special things that are happening in this event. Um, so we encourage you to go to www.globalinnovationfieldtrip.org, click on the presenter schedule for this event, look through and find those things that interest you most and tune in during them, or feel free to stay the whole 24 hours, whichever works for you. Um, some of the highlights that we have uh, this event, we have a multi-country, multi educator session that's going to go on uh, several hours from now. It's going to include educators from China, Indonesia, the United States, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Israel, South Africa, and China. And you won't want to miss that. Look that one up on the uh, uh, schedule for the Global Innovation Field Trip so that you can attend. For students, we have several very special things happening this event. We have another student mashup. We piloted mashups in the July gift worked very well. It is um, a non-scripted hour where students from across the world, including any of our co-hosts, student co-hosts who would like to attend, get together. They spend the hour together and have conversations about anything that's important to them. So whether it's world peace, whether it's climate change, whether it's how things are going at school, Whatever important is to students will lead the direction of the conversation. And uh, it's a fantastic and inspiring hour to be a part of. We also have um, Fardeen and Hijaz Black who are putting on two sessions this gift. And the sessions are all about the 17 uh, sustainable development goals. They're encouraging students to drop in 
spend some time talking about the SDG that's most important or maybe that you've worked on in the past or would like to help promote and talk about that with other students from around the world. Look for that on the schedule. There's two different sessions to accommodate time zones from all across the world. We also have a NASA uh, careers, STEM careers challenge that we're kicking off this event. That's for K-12 students anywhere in the world can participate in that. And uh, top uh, submissions for that particular uh, event will be invited to the January Global Innovation Field Trip to present. And, and the challenge is around taking a look at some of those thousands and thousands of NASA pictures that have come back and uh, selecting careers that you think match up with those pictures. So fun, challenging program and tune in for that when you can. Uh, we also have this event, we're kicking off the uh, gift call to action challenges. And the first challenge that we're um, debuting at this event will be all about climate change and climate action, which is SDG 13. We'll kick that off um, a little bit later today, and then we'll have more information. In fact, there's more information on our website right now at globalinnovationfieldtrip.org. So go take a look. Students um, K-12 are encouraged to participate in this challenge. It'll involve you creating a one-minute video or less to uh, talk about an aspect of climate change important to you, and then uh, create a call to action to get other people involved in helping uh, with that particular issue in climate change. Top innovators or top submissions, excuse me, will win 100 US dollars, as well as be invited to the January gift to present their call to action to the whole world. So very exciting stuff going on. We also have somewhere in the schedule, a glimpse of the International Kids Conference. If you don't know anything about that, check it out. It's fabulous. It's fun. I know that the Students from the Global Innovation Challenge have an opportunity to be sent to the uh, International Kids Conference. So we're very excited about that. And um, let's see, what else? Oh, one last thing. We have a kid cohort um, announcement that's coming during this gift. And the Innovation World Alliance, members of the Alliance have decided that um, they'd really like to help support students even beyond what we do today. And so we're, we're talking about the opportunity to get a group of students together who want to form a cohort to help themselves and help each other as they move through their innovation stories. So look that up on the schedule, learn more about that, and you'll hear more to come in uh, days and weeks to follow. I think that is the announcements that I have for today. Oh, one more, sorry. And then I, I wanna make sure that we have a chance to introduce everyone sitting here too. Um, the next Global Innovation Field Trip will be January 14, 15. If you have an interest in being a presenter, you can go to globalinnovationfieldtrip.org and fill out a form to become a presenter. If you're interested in being a host, you're welcome to do that as well. Very proud to say that this event today will be hosted by 35 international hosts from 14 different countries. And some of those folks are sitting right here waiting to get started. So we're real excited. Jake Mendelson, I'm sorry, I stole the entire introduction. Jake is the co-founder of the Global Innovation Field Trip. So let's give him a second too to talk. Well, actually, Julie, thank you very much for giving me a second to talk. But usually in my second, I spend the time explaining or mentioning all the things you forgot to mention. Uh, but Unfortunately, you mentioned everything. Not so, everything, Jake. There's one uh, thing you always get me on. What is it? What does it cost? <laughs> <laughs> what does it cost, Jake, to be part of the Global Innovation Field Trip? It's absolutely free. It's absolutely free. And it's a great opportunity for students around the world to share what they're doing and for educators around the world who are supporting those students to share what they are doing. They are creating the future and uh, we're looking forward to it. So on with the show. Yeah, so I, I would like to introduce Kristen Lehman from Hewitt Learning. Kristen um, collaborates with us in many different ways, um, not the least of which is she opens the shows for us now so that they open nicely. And so we thank you for that, Kristen. Kristen is in the United States. We welcome Erin Shatner from Canada. Erin, say hello. Hi there, thanks so much for welcoming me back. Excited for another dose of inspiration. 
and their student co-host, Sam, from Saudi Arabia. Say hi, hi. Sam. With that, I think that uh, Jake and I will bow out for now, but we will come back. So we'll leave it in the capable hands of the three of you. Thanks so much. And thank you for joining us for the Global Innovation Field Trip. We'll miss you, Julie and Jake, but thank you so much for trusting us with the keys to this uh, exciting um, adventure. Sam, who are you? Tell us about you. Um, uh, yeah, I'm good. Uh, uh, my name is, uh, uh, you can call me Alex. Alex, pardon me. And how old are you or what grade are you in? Um, I'm grade five. Wow. And I'm 10. You're 10. Tell me something. What's your favorite invention that you maybe use every day or one that you aspire to be able to engage with? An invention I use every day? Yeah. Uh, I say the Rubik's Cube. I, um, yeah, I've been very fascinated about it these days. That's awesome. Are you quick at solving it? Yes. I bet. I bet. I don't think I've ever solved a Rubik's Cube in my life. Um, <laughs> well, very, very happy to be here. Kristen, what's your favorite invention? Uh, I think at the moment, mine is a, is more of an innovation. I am oh. in love with 8D music at the moment. What's I that? just discovered it. It's uh, They use crossfade and reverb and different things. So if you're listening to it with both uh, headphones in, it makes it sound like the music is mu moving around you. And so it engages your brain in a different way. I just discovered it and I'm fascinated by this concept. And I guess they've got 9D and 16D music as well. And it's all about how they arrange the music. So, and how they uh, layer it. And so this is my newest uh, innovation that I am absolutely fascinated with. Well, you've piqued my curiosity. So thank you. So and, what about you? Oh, what? I'm going to venture down the music um, pathway with you and actually say my favorite is my Spotify algorithm. <laughs> I have been exposed Absolutely. to so much exciting new music and um, content that I don't think I would have ever stumbled upon myself if it hadn't been for machines learning what my tastes are and, uh, and providing me recommendations um, so reliably. So Discover Weekly Mondays, highlight of the week for me. Um, yeah, that's, that, that's my answer. <laughs> what about you, Alex? Did you have something you wanted to add to that? One moment about the 8D music. Um, uh, the concept around the sound is really cool. It's also been used in gaming. So you can, like, when the enemy shoots by there, you can actually hear it. And there are specific headphones for that kind of music. It's, it's a really cool concept. Amazing. I'm going to have to go look into that. Well, very excited to welcome our very first innovator presenter today. Mm -hmm.